up, you guys? I am excited for today's Walmart Wednesday because it's like Walmart and Friends Day. I don't know. I made it up. What do you think? I am going to show you Walmart pieces in every single outfit, but it's not going to be exclusively Walmart because I have collected so many things that I have got to show you guys and they've been sitting there and I'm like, I don't, for some reason, okay, weird. I don't like to wear this stuff and then haul it. I want it to be fresh and hot off the presses, although this one is not, but for you guys. So let's get into it. So nothing is gonna be completely Walmart. I think you guys are okay with it. You're gonna get plenty of Walmart though, I promise you. Okay, do you guys remember, I was telling you I went to Nordstrom Rack for something and I was gonna show you, it was a style I wanted to try, et cetera, et cetera. I'm wearing it right now. Finally, yes, I've had this item or these items for at least a month, I'm finally busting them out, so let's do this. We'll go over everything. These are just gold hoops. I can link some below for you. The usual in the jewelry, except I have an express bracelet on today, you guys. You know I love that clasp, that toggle clasp on all of my jewelry, especially bracelets. It's so hard to put with my left hand a bracelet on this hand, and that made it so simple. And this, I believe, was on clearance, so it will be linked below. And last time I talked about Express, I opened my big mouth and I'm like, I asked me for coupon codes. And then there weren't any because if they're doing major sales, they don't do coupons as well. But I will pin one to the first comment if I have one, okay? So typically I usually pin the haul and all of the links to the very first comment under the video. With that, I'll put a coupon code if I have one and if I don't, I'll tell you that. How's that? Is that I'm not making promises I can't keep? I used to be in sales and they would tell you. Under promise, over deliver. I didn't follow that golden rule. All right, enough with that. This is a bodysuit by Sofia Vergara. It's from last year. It is available. It's a classic. It's just ribbed. I believe this color might be called, I want to say oatmeal. I could totally be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll put the name up on the screen. It's ribbed. I'm wearing it in a small. It's super comfy. It goes with everything, including these jean shorts. Now these exact, I'm slowly backing up because you're not going to see what I'm wearing just yet till the very end so we can all scream together. Um, these shorts are by Scoop. I'm not sure if I found the exact ones because these were last year, but there is a almost exact pair that I linked for you below. So don't worry about it. You can get this look. That's the goal, right? To get the look. All right, you guys, are you dying? Are you, is everyone okay out there? You guys. Love them. Okay, I am not a country person. I have a friend who lives down south. I know she's laughing so hard right now. And I'm just not that person. You know, I always say I'm a city mouse and blah, blah, blah. But I'll take the look, cause this is hot. These are tall cowboy boots, yes. And they are tall on purpose. They're, they're not wide calf, but they're that wide, stiff, um, leg to them. They're not form fitting or anything. And they're just taller than your average cowboy boot. They're not too high. I would say they're about a two and a half inch heel. They're comfy. The toe box up top is wide enough. I don't feel like uncomfortable at all. You guys, I love, love, love these. This look is gorgeous. Now you might comment below and say, you're nuts. We're not doing that. It's okay. I just saw that this would look gorgeous with it. Okay, I need to retake my Instagram photos. Holding this bag because have you ever? <sighs> if you haven't, you should. So these are from Nordstrom Rack. I will link them below. I forget who the brand is. Hold on, I gotta be a contortionist. Mia, M-I-A, that's a good brand. So they're great, they're comfy, they're so cute. Here's the back of these shorts and the back of this look in general. I don't care, I'm gonna find somewhere to wear this. I don't care, I have to do it. Anyone want to go see, um, you know, a country band with me? I've only gone to Kenny Rogers, you guys know this. <laughs> and poor Kenny passed away right before COVID hit and he kind of got lost in the shuffle. But anyway, love these boots. These are what I've been dying to show you. You can wear them with so many things. Follow me on Instagram. It's just at Life and Style by Liz. I will be sure to show you other ways to wear these boots. I'm going to pair them with dresses, skirts, you name it. I cannot wait. Now, I will also, in the fall and winter, wear them with pants or jeans, right? Why not? Oh my God. I'm in love, you guys. I'm totally in love. 
Anyway, so this is my daring little um, style that I wanted to try out so badly and I've had these for such a long time. By the way, this purse. I've shown it to you last week in case you missed that episode, how dare you, but I will update you. It's under $25. It's my new uh, bag I'm gonna wear the entire season. You can wear it over your shoulder. It does come with a crossbody uh, strap. I just took that off. You can unhook it very simply on the sides there. And then it has these gorgeous round handles. You can do one of these as well. Listen, if I walk into happy hour like this, they're either gonna say she looks ridiculous or, ooh, that looks cool. In either way, I don't care. All right, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I am back. Now the only thing that's Walmart are the accessories, but I have so many gorgeous purses and pairs of shoes from Walmart. I just thought I would show you how you can take something that's not from Walmart and dress it up, believe it or not, with Walmart accessories. So let's go over what I'm wearing first. And you guys, I have to be honest with you. You guys know I typically buy things and I'm in love with most of the things unless there's a funny fit to it. And I don't tell you that I love something unless I really do. I love this shirt. I love everything about it. And I'll tell you why I don't like it in one second. But these pants are, remember the orange high rise um, straight leg crop, I guess they're called pants. These are the black version. I love the orange one so much that I had to get a pair of black ones. These have pockets. They're crap, they're straight leg, they're gorgeous. All right, and here's what I absolutely love and unfortunately hate about this shirt. So I know it's absolutely stunning. The back is cut out. So yeah, you think you're going to work, you're on a business meeting, but no, you're not because you can't wear this to work. But how gorgeous is that? All right. Here's unfortunately what I don't like about it. Now, if this doesn't bother you, purchase it. This shirt is gorgeous. I'm wearing it in a small. I think it looks so high-end, boutique, unbelievable for coming out of Express. Again, here's the back. It's got little hook and eye buttons. I think four of them here and one at the top. Fortunately, my daughters are home and helped me with them. And they were right there and it took them a long time. So for me, that's a no, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway, because this outfit is so cute. And again, I'm wearing my one of my favorite pairs of Walmart shoes. You guys have seen these a thousand times, but worth showing again, the Time and True braided um, high heel, not really high, two and a half inches. Look at my hair, it's crazy. My hair is upset about the shirt. Um, and then you guys, this is new. This is a Giselle bag, it's black. It's so nice and light. I love the way it has those ties right there. It's a baguette style, which you guys know is very on trend, but it's a little bigger, which I like. So you can fit everything you need to fit in here, carry it right over your shoulder. You can also do the this, the this, the look like this. So I'm showing you as many accessories as possible today, but I do totally love this one here. So one last look at the full outfit before I call my daughter up to take it off of me. And I think you'll love this look. Um, and again, if that's not something that bothers you, then you go ahead and you purchase it because it is absolutely gorgeous. All right, oh, and the necklace. I got this little choker chain from Express as well. I only got it because it has the toggle clasp and, it's clasp and it's gold. And I also like that like lucite or clear little um, hook as part of the, or hook and I, I don't know what the circle that you stick the hook through. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. All right, what else do I have for you? Total mix match day. I'm telling you, this is called Walmart and Friends. Right, you guys, continuing on with accessories. Don't yell at me that the clothing isn't all Walmart. I hope you're okay with that. Let me know in the comments down below if you like videos like this or if you just want me to go straight Walmart. Sometimes, every once in a while, once the season has gotten rolling, I do need to take a little bit of a break um, and mix in some other stuff. All right. You guys have seen this necklace, I believe. It's got the faux pearl and then the toggle clasp. It's kind of like a mixed media necklace. It's got rhinestones, gold, pearls, all my faves. And then you guys have seen this from Express, the eyelet tube top in that cute peplum style that covers everything. I have another peplum uh, shirt to show you from them. I'm hoping it fits. I haven't tried it on yet. This is my fave nude braided bag by Madden NYC, you guys know I love it. And I dared pair the whole thing with these cute pink braided sandals. So just like the black ones that I just showed you, these are the pink version, but they almost look nude. 
So I thought this whole blush palette, if you will, looked really good together. I hope you guys think so as well. These are my signature by Levi's Jeans from Walmart. And I'll make sure to link these below. I think I showed you guys these a couple of weeks ago. Um, still wearing my Express toggle bracelet. So all of this jewelry will be in the description box below in the jewelry section. And these are my, what I call geo circle earrings. I don't know how I came up with that, but now it's, it has stuck and that's not what they're called. <laughs> of course, right? All right, you guys. So I wanted to show you all of this and I have more outfits to show you, maybe one or two, but stick around for this lip combo. I'm trying to get as many accessories out here as I could show you. And I'll just do that. I was going to lift one up, but you guys want to see them, you know, kind of like style, not just me holding them up. I get it. All right. All right. I'll be back. Hey guys, I am back. I got the tube top on. It does fit. I would not get a larger size. Um, it would be falling down. It does have the little rubber grips and some lining, a little extra fabric in there. I changed out my earrings and I put these on. You guys, I wish I could link these so badly. I know I showed them to you last week. They're so cute, especially in summer, especially because I have dark hair and they, they actually show up. So I have the same straight leg pants on that I showed you. Um, was it just before this? I am delirious. I filmed three videos today. <laughs> I don't remember, but these I had on in this video and I paired everything with Walmart accessories. So the earrings are Walmart and the purse is Walmart and the shoes are Walmart. So let me bring that up close. You guys have seen this before, my little Louis Vuitton dupe, and it comes with, I always have to show you, look at my hair is getting crazy and everything. It comes with that extra strap that makes it a little more casual and it's so super cute. I love this express necklace and I love how my chest is with this shirt, it's so cute. I would definitely pair this with jeans, of course. And here are the denim, the denim. I'm totally losing it. <laughs> Gold cork wedges. OMG, you guys. I think I'm dehydrated. <laughs> anyway, I love all of this. I hope you guys are okay with this one-off. Um, showing you a mix of Walmart accessories with other stores as well. Stick around for the lip combo. I have one more thing. It's an old one, but I'm bringing her back because it's really, you know, getting into mid to the end of June. And you guys need to revisit some stuff I showed you in March and April because your head was not wrapped around summer yet, okay? So one more outfit and then the lip combo. All right, you guys, I'm back. Now we are revisiting, remember, you have seen this before, but it has been months. And again, I swear it was snowing out when I showed you this giddy up here that I'm about to show you. So definitely worth revisiting now that 4th of July is around the corner. We'll be in the throes of summer before you know it. Fish are jumping straight to the sky. Anyone knows what I'm talking about? Comment below. All right, you guys, stick around for the lip combo. It's going to be right after this outfit, I promise you. But check out this bikini by Time and True. You guys, I love this one. It's the only one I kept from all of the Walmart breathing suits I've shown you this year because I have some from last year and I have a million from other places as well. And again, I'm not walking around in bathing suits all day long, though I'd like to be, kind of, some days not. But I would if I had these pants on. Do you guys remember seeing these? These are the crocheted cover-up pants, I call them. Check out the back. How cute are these? Okay, I have to cut that little white tag out, so just kind of ignore that. I'm kind of afraid to, because I don't want to cut the wrong thing and then I'm in trouble. But these are so cute. I paired them with these, um, Time and True black wedge heels. I'm gonna take them off so you could see the exact length on the pants. So here you go. They're probably 29, 30 inches, I would say. I've got them hiked up as well. You can pull them down low. You can drawstring as functional. You can do them as tight or as loose as you want to. Love these, look how stretchy they are, you guys. In fact, they might be one size. Again, everything is always linked below along with the size I'm wearing right next to it. And my measurements are in the description box as well. So you can kind of compare and figure out what size you might take. And I love it. So now it's time to strip and show you the basics. <laughs> so here it is. Isn't it so cute? It covers the belly button just where I like it to. It cinches at the sides. It's um, functional, believe it or not. And it's a nice full back. And it even has a little, um, what are they, a ruching up the butt there, but you don't really notice it because of this cute, adorable print. That's one of the things I absolutely love about this bikini. I hope you guys love it too. And I love the sides. Whoops. 
I love how it ties on the sides. I don't know why, I just think that's so cute. It's probably because it's from my era, back in the 80s. They had shorts and stuff that cinched and ruched at the sides. Anyone remember that? They were terry cloth and you could tie them. Those were the days. All right, so here I am in a bikini about to show you my lip combo, why not? All right, we're coming in with Milani and Saucy Toffee. It's kind of a brown nude. But when you mix it in with the lip color combo I'm going to show you, it really works. So let's go in a little below and above. Follow your natural lip line on the side there. And then I filled in. I stuck with Milani. So that's this one here is um, the Saucy Toffee is kind of a brown. Then I came in with a pinky nude. It's just nude cream and filled in. I kind of liked the pinkish brown combo. I think that's a classic combo, even for lips. And then to keep up with the brown, but give you a pop in the center, I came in with my Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. Look at that, you guys, in the color um, crystal. Isn't it so pretty? So you see the darker outline, the pretty pink, and then watch this. Love it. It's not totally toffee. Are you guys happy? That is one heck of a pout. All right, you guys, thank you so much for sticking with me today through the, oh, I saw something that wouldn't stop jiggling there. I always tell my husband, 1.21 gigawatts. Do you guys remember Back to the Future? 1.21 gigawatts. I'm jiggle watts. Whatever. I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me throughout this video. I was showing you things from all over the place. Let me know, especially down in the comments below, what you thought of those cowboy boots and the look. And I promise you, I'm keeping them, I love them, that I am going to show you those with something else, like maybe a dress or something, so you can get a feel for that whole look and that whole style. All right. If you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps other people to find me. And if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. I hope you guys all have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.